So good day to everyone. So this is the continuation of our topic for combustion engineering. So uh, let's do some recaps before we proceed to the dual cycle. The two cycles that we're going that we have already discussed is the auto cycle and diesel cycle. In auto cycle, uh, the process there is a constant a uh, volume. Uh, no, it's con it constant entropy, then constant volume, then constant entropy, then constant volume. And uh, after we discuss the concepts and the processes on how to solve the auto cycle, we well, now uh, we now proceed to the continuation of the cycle that is the diesel cycle. And for this diesel cycle, we uh, know we knew that the processes in in solving diesel cycle is constant entropy, then constant uh, pressure, then constant entropy, then constant volume. And now we're going to introduce another cycle, which is the dual cycle. And the dual cycle here is the combination of both auto cycle and diesel cycle. Now, both the auto and diesel cycles can be obtained as special cases of the dual cycle. Dual cycle is a more realistic model than diesel cycle for representing modern high-speed compression ignition engines. In modern high-speed compression ignition engines, fuel is injected into the combustion chamber much sooner compared to the early diesel engines. Fuel starts to ignite late in the compression stroke and subsequently part of the combustion occurs almost at constant volume. Now, fuel injection continues until the piston reaches the top dead center and combustion of the fuel keeps the pressure high well into the expansion stroke. Thus, the entire combustion process can be better modeled as the combination of constant volume and constant pressure processes. So therefore, uh, we invented another cycle, which is the dual cycle, for us at... Uh, to increase for us to be able to be able to increase the efficiency as well as the a uh, time for the for an combustion takes place for a combustion takes place in auto cycle uh, we incorporate the process or the concept of auto cycle and diesel cycle when going and we fusion it or we combine it into one cycle and that one cycle is called the dual cycle kaya nga siya itinawag na Dual. We have two cycles in one cycle. Okay, in dual cycle, a more re realistic ideal cycle model for modern high speed compression ignition engine is the following. In process one to two, we have isentropic process. Okay, in process one to two, using the PV diagram, we have isentropic process. In process two to three, which is con constant pressure heat addition. So at point two, there is no the uh, volume build up no 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 so at pressure at point 2 to 3 the constant pressure lamang siya then tumaas yung temperature then after ng constant uh, process 3 to 4 we have the constant volume heat addition okay so dito nag heat added pa ulit so take note dal dalwa ang ating heat addition unlike sa auto cycle and diesel cycle one only dito is dalawa and then after uh, 4 to 5 naman which is this or ito ay 4 to 5 process 4 to 5 the isentropic expansion which uh, constant is entropy and process 5 to 1 is the constant volume heat ejection wherein all heat that are not converted into power is being rejected by the system. Kaya mayroon pa rin tayong heat rejection. And for the analysis of the combustion cycle, if you're, uh, if you're going to analyze this process, you can derive formulas if you're going, if you have a complete and correct PV or TS diagram. Now, your QA here would be MCV delta T plus MCP delta T. Saan yun nakuha? Because process 2 to 3 is constant pressure, so therefore you have your MCP. And process 3 to 4 is constant volume heat addition, so you have MCV delta T. So, ayan lang yun. And for your QR, we have MCV delta T as well. 
process 5 to 1 naman siya. And for your work, ganun pa rin, QA minus QR by applying the law of conservation of energy. Energy in equals energy out. So you have work equals QA minus QR. And for the efficiency, you have your input over your, uh, sorry, your output all over your total input. Okay, please take note that QA is 2 QA in this dual cycle. And there is only one QR. So you have your work over, all over your input. So kung makikita mo agad dito, ano, kung dalawa yung QA mo at isa yung QR mo, ano nangyayari sa work? Tumataas yung work. So therefore, kapag tumataas yung work, tumataas din yung efficiency. Okay? Kaya mas nagiging maganda kung we incorporate the auto cycle and the diesel cycle in both, uh, into one cycle, sorry. Kaya may dual cycle. And for E, in terms of RK, 1 over RK raised to K minus 1 times the quantity of RP, RC raised to K minus 1, all over RP raised to K times RC minus 1 plus RP minus 1. So when RP is equivalent to P3 over P2, yan yung compression, and ay ay pressure ratio. Okay? Pressure ratio, yan. Yan. The pressure ratio during the constant volume portion of combustion, please take note that RP is equivalent to P3 over P2. Now, we incorporate another uh, parameter such as RP because we combine the RK and the RC. RK, kung mapapansin nyo, RK is available only at auto cycle. And kung ikaw naman yung magdi-diesel cycle, may RK and RC. So, if going to combine the two cycle, we incorporate another uh, ratio, which is the RP, which is the pressure ratio. The term efficiency of the cycle lies between the, that of the ideal auto and the ideal diesel cycle. Okay? So this is some sort of derivation for formula. So si theta, si theta VK, process 1 to 2, T2 over T1 equals V1 over V2 raised to K minus 1, which is equivalent to your T2 equals T1, times RK raised to K minus 1 because V1 over V2 is equivalent to RK. Plus 2 to 3, we have T3 over T2 o equals P3 over P2 because constant volume. So, makakansay lang natin yung volume. And since P3 over P2 is RP, so you have T3 equals T1 times RK raised to K minus 1 all over RP. Saan itong RP na ito? Because T2, ito yon T2 ay T1 times RK raised to K minus 1. And process 3 to 4, we have T4 over T3 equals V4 over V3. Since V4 over V3 is equal R3, so therefore your T4 equals a T3 times RC. But your T3 is T1 times RK raised to K minus 1 RP. Kaya times RC. Okay, in process 4 to 5, we have T5 over T4 equals V4 over V5 raised to K minus 1. Since constant volume, V5 equal, equals to V1. So therefore, we have V3 over RC all over V1 raised to K minus 1. And T5 over T4 is equivalent to RC raised to K minus 1 over RK raised to K minus 1. So therefore, your T5 is equivalent to T4, RC K minus 1 all over RK raised to K minus 1. In your T4, pwede ito yung ating ilipan. Kaya ito yun. Okay? Simplifying this equation, we have T5 equals T1 RP RC raised to K. Okay? Now, let's do the sample exercise para mais maintindihan natin. Okay, for the sample exercises, for the sample exercise number 1, at the beginning of the compression and ideal uh, dual cycle, combustion cycle, the working fluid is 1, pounds, one pound of air at 14.1 PSIA and 80 degree Fahrenheit. The compression ratio is 9. The pressure at the end of the constant volume addition of heat is 470 PSIA and there are added 100 BTU during the compression or during the constant pressure expansion. Now we have to find the pressure ratio, the cutoff ratio, the percentage clearance, the efficiency, and the uh, mean effective pressure. Okay? For we to be able to solve 
first the uh, requirements, we should have a correct and proper TS or PV diagram. Okay, kopyahin na lang natin ito. Para tayo ay madali at tayo ay may kodigo. Okay. Now, by this T PV or TS diagram, we are guided to what the process and to what uh, formula we are going to use. Okay? It's not uh, wrong. Actually, this is the correct way on how to deal with this problem. Because this problem is in terms of your uh, cycle. So, uh, sa madalit sabi, automatic na dapat ikaw ay uh, marunong mag-TS diagram. Okay? Kapa na. Doon na lang matitira. Okay. Now, at point 1, okay, at point 1, hanapin natin yung volume. Kasi, uh, yun yung one of the parameters that, grow, that we were going to have for we to be able to solve the RP. Okay? So, we have PV equals MRT. Okay? Now, for PV equals MRT, so you have a uh, pressure which is 14.1. Multiply by 144 equals anong M natin? 1 pound times 53.3 times 540. Saan nakuha yung 540? Because our uh, T1 is anong T1 natin? 80 degree Fahrenheit plus 460 to make it a Rankine uh, temperature. This is equals to V. So therefore, you have V1 which is equivalent to 14.186 cubic feet. Now, please take note that this is a truncated. Ito ay okay, ni round of knot. Itong aking Ah, uh, nasa na ito ang nasa aking uh, lesson plan. Okay? So but if you're going to resolve this problem na kaharap itong aking video na inyo papanoorin, ano, you I, uh, I am encouraging you to put all those values that are present in the calculator para mas exact yung inyong makuhang sagot. So, this is cubic feet. Next. At point 2, we have V2 as since RK is equivalent to V1 over V2. We can say that Yung RK natin is 9 equals, may V1 na tayo, 14.186 divided by V2. So therefore, makukuha natin yung V2. V2 is equivalent to 1.576 cubic feet. Okay, next. After we get the value of V2, we can now get the value of T2. T2 equals uh, T2 over T1, T2 over T1 equals V1 over V2 raised to Tita V kitayo, ID raised to K minus 1. Raised to K minus 1. So therefore, we have 540 
So, you have your T1. So, T2 all over 540. Ah, sorry, 540 nga ba? Ah, tama, 540 equals. So, you have your V1. Ano V1 at is 14.186. Or just simply RK. Since meron naman tayong RK, multiply natin na ito na 99 raised to 1.4. Because standard at hindi naman sinabi ang ating condition. So, 1.4 yung gagamitin natin value for K. So, therefore, you have T2 which is equivalent to One thousand three hundred ranking. Okay, and then after that, you can also for the value of P two, since we have the value of P one. So P two, P two over P one equals P one over P two raised to K. So therefore, since we have P, pero na tayo P two. Ah, wala tayong P2. Meron lang tayo is P1. So, P2 divided by anong P1 natin? P1 is 14.1. So, 14.1 PSIA equals V1 over V2 is compression ratio. So, siya ay 9 raised to 1.4. So, therefore, we have P2 which is equivalent to 305.6. PSIA. Now, at point 3, at point 3 naman, we have T3 over T2 equals P3 over P2. So, therefore, we have T3 all over 1,300 yun yung ating, sorry, yung ating T2, tama? Equals. Ano ang ating P3? P3 natin is 470. Please take note at the end of the constant volume addition. So, kung siya is dual cycle, SP, SV. Ah, hindi pala. SPV, SPV. So, at the end of the combustion, at, at the end of the constant volume. So, constant volume ay ito. At the end of constant volume, so 3. Kaya siya is, kaya siya ay T3 ang, ang P3 ang, uh, sina, ang, ano, ang, dis, ang distinction. So, 470 all over 305.5. 6, which is yung sinob natin kanina. Ang pressure. So, therefore, we have T3, which is equivalent to 1,999 ranking. Okay? At point 4, we have heat added. Heat added, heat A equals MC Oh, is it MCP or MCV? MCP delta T. T4 minus T. Okay? And for your added is 100. Why? Kasi sinabi din. Please take note. There are added 100 BTU during the constant pressure expansion. So, therefore, from press from uh, process 3 to 4. Constant pressure tayo. Ah, sorry. Process 2 to 3. Uh -huh, process 3 to 4. Constant pressure. And process 2 to 3. 2 to 3 is constant volume. So, process 3 to 4. Tayo. May ha we added down na 100 BP. It's equivalent to 1. Ano ang mass natin? 1. Multiply by 0 0.24. Why in yung standard natin kapag 1.4 in English system, T4 minus 190. This is T4. Sorry, this is T3 minus, uh, T4 minus T3. Sorry. 
So therefore, we have uh, T4, which is equivalent to Two four one six ranking. Okay, next. After that, we can get the value of V four. V four equals V three. V four over V three. Okay. V four over V three equals T four over V. Okay, so therefore, ang V4 natin, hinahanap all over, anong V3? V3 is a solve, 1.576. Tama ba? Ang V3 natin is, anong V3? V3, V2. Since V3 equals V2, kaya V2 ating gagamitin. V2 ay, anong V2? 1.576. Which is equals to, ano ang T4? Itong 2, 4, 1, 6. Divided by, ano ang T3? T3, 1, 9, 9. So therefore, meron na tayong V4, which is equivalent to 1.905. You big. Next, after you get the value of V4, masasolve na natin, ah, pointa naman tayo sa 0.5. At 0.5, last na natitirang point, at 0.5. So here at 0.5, we have T5 over T4 equals V4 over V3. V4 over V5 pala. Sorry. Ito na ka V3. Raise to K minus 1. Okay. So, T5 ang hinahanap. T5 all over Ano ang T4? T4 is 2416. Next. Times equals pala. V4 natin is 1.905. Divided by V5. Ano ang V5? V5 is. Please take note that V5 is at constant volume. So therefore V5 equals V1. Ano ang V1 natin nakuha? V1 is 14.186. Over. 14.186. So therefore, you have your T5 which is equivalent to uh, 1 up. Wait lang, para mali. i -re raise pa natin to. Sorry. We're going to raise this one into K minus 1. Yan. So therefore, uh, your T5 here is equivalent to 1,082 rank 10. Okay? And now, since we solve all the parameters that are required on our problem, we can also solve for the values. Now, for A, your RP pressure ratio is equivalent to P3 minus, ah, sorry, P3 all over P2. So therefore, you have 470 So you have 470 470 divided by ano ang P2 natin? P2 natin is 305.6 Yan yung sin ito. So, therefore, makuha natin ang RP. Ang RP is equal to 
1.15. Okay, next. For the cutoff ratio, is the RC. RC is equivalent to V4 over V3. Okay? So, therefore, ang V4 natin is 1.905 all over V3. Anong V3 natin? Hanap natin ang V3. Saan na? Hindi magpakita ang V3. V, since V3 is equivalent to V2 constant volume, hanapin natin ang V2. V2 is 1.576 all over 1.576. So, therefore, your cutoff ratio is 1.21. And please take note that ano ang aking sinabi sa inyo dati, your cutoff ratio should always be greater than 1. So, in this case, you have a 1.21 uh, value as your RC. Then, dito pa lang, matche-check nyo, ay, siguro I'm on the right track because my RC here is 1. Greater than 1, to be exact. Okay? Next. And for your RK, which is your compression ratio, ano, by using the clearance 1 plus C over C. All over C yung ating formula. 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 Okay? So, therefore, your RK natin is 9 equals 1 plus C all over C. So, therefore, manap natin yung C. The clearance. The clearance equivalent to 12.5%. Okay? <clears throat> Next. Uh, ano pa hinahanap? Percentage clearance. E. Efficiency. For the efficiency, since meron na tayong mga R C, R K, R P, pwede nga gamitin natin ay yung Ah, uh, itong formula. Itong formula na ito. Okay? Then, your efficiency is equivalent to yung efficiency natin dito, 57.73%. Okay? And for your PM, your mean effective pressure, your work all over your V1 minus V. Okay? So, by using the equation, ano ba ang work natin? Work is equivalent to QA. Minus Okay. So, dedere-derechay na natin. Ano ang QA natin? QA is Q is dalawang QA ng constant volume and constant pressure. So, sa madalit sabi, we have MCP delta T and MCV delta T. Since meron na tayong ah uh, meron na tayong QA4 at uh, 3 to 4 ito yon during the constant pressure meron na tayong QA yung QA na lang na constant volume ang ating hahanapin so therefore so meron na dito na tayong 100 bracket na natin 100 plus okay your MCP MC V, MCV delta T times 0 0.714 times MCV delta T 199 minus 13. Because M and delta T natin is T3 minus T2. Your T3 is 
199 all over your T2, which is 1. Okay. Then, i-minus na natin ang QR. QR naman is at constant volume as well. Dito, kaya MCV delta T naman, T5 minus T4. So, you have 1 times 0 0.0174 0 0.714 times 540 minus 1082. Okay. Now, so therefore your work is equivalent to 219. Okay. So therefore your your ha it I yung Q A more is so it is two hundred nineteen point eight minus mm, negative minus ninety two pala minus ninety two point five. Okay, please take note that the number negative sign here doesn't necessarily mean reflect or carry over to the uh, general equation of the work. Okay? So, ayan yun. So, yun yung work mo. So, therefore, ito, kapihin lang natin. Isamal ko na to. So, you have your constant work all over V4. Anong V1 natin? 14.186 minus 1.576 times 144. Wag na wag, kalilimutan ang conversion factor. Okay, so therefore, your mean effective pressure is equivalent to 54.37 PSI. Okay, so ganun lang, kadali. Basta you have to follow and you have to know the correct schematic diagram, you can be able to solve for the value of your dual cycle. Okay, so for the that's it for the meantime. If you have any questions, you can just send me an email with regards to this topic and I will reply it as soon as I open your email. Or if you... If you find it inconvenient to email me, you can just message me via my messenger for you to be able to keep me updated with uh, your progress in learning this dual cycle. Okay? That's all for today. Thank you and I hope you are very safe. Thank you.